Welcome back to Terminology Tuesday. Today I thought we'd go over and recap everything we've learned about pollination. The process of pollination is part of sexual reproduction in plants. The whole point of pollination is to produce seed, taking the genetics of two separate individuals to produce the next generation of the plants. The process of pollination specifically refers to the transfer of pollen, which contain the male sperm cells of the plant, onto the stigma, the receptive female organ of the plant that receives the pollen. That process of pollination can be facilitated in many different ways, often by an animal, by an insect, a bird, a bat, etc., and sometimes by wind, like in the case of oaks and pines we learned about last week. There are also other ways pollen can move, like water. Many aquatic plants rely on water to move and transfer their pollen grains. And then some flowers are actually physically structured and built in order to pollinate themselves so they don't rely on anything else. We're going to use our native coral honeysuckle, Lanicera sempervirium, to demonstrate this. So up here you can see on the anthers, the pollen grains are released on the anthers. They're received on the female stigma right here. This whole section of the female part of the plant is called the pistil. The top is called the stigma. The long part is called the style. And then down at the base is the ovary. When the pollen is transferred onto the stigma, in this case of this species by way of butterfly or hummingbird, then the pollen, once on the stigma, forms this, what's called a pollen tube, this long tube that goes all the way down the style, all the way down to the ovary, and it germinates and begins to form seed at the ovary. Pollination is very complex and varied across the plant kingdom, but thanks for joining me to learn some of the basics about pollination, and I'll see you guys again next week.